how do we know? Because it said that somebody, somebody became habituated to uh, do a number of misses at any time. And the vote that doesn't come when you're already locked into your habitat. You know, so if you do something, you know, out of your habit pattern, then you're straining yourself and you're working on awakening, you know, you don't want to see. I'm going to start seeing my own face. I can't make it. Can't make it. Don't look up here. Hey, hey. I'm talking to myself. Oh, I forget my name. Good to see you. Good to see you. Sorry, I missed the uh, way. Nathan. I love it. Samson, Nathan, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh. How's it going? Good, good. Good to see you. 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 Samson, nice to meet you. We've met before. Yeah. Are you in okay. Are you sitting here, Vin? Where am I streaming to you? Have any idea? No way to know. Hmm. Okay. Go. All right. How are you? So, don't you have to make an official? Once you get the official. No, you want to give the official introduction? I'm a guest speaker. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start the thing. So holding the fort down, huh? Fine, good. Okay. So what I have here? How do you pin this one? This is a custom hat. Okay. L'chaim, l'chaim. How does the word you have to start the niggin again? Usually you start off by bringing the niggin. I don't know if we start the niggin again. We're past the niggin. That the first thing. How's it going? Good. How are you? Baruch Hashem. Um, You're doing Zoom? So, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. So watch what you say this time. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Um, so, First of all, welcome everybody. This is a, a very special by the end of this, this day, obviously. I mean, not just the arts of his father, but the, the personality of his father, really his parents, the Chal, were, were such that, um, that, you, that you see the Rebbe essentially is a minog, right? With the talus that we were. We were a talus with stripes, but with folded underneath, right? The stripes are folded underneath. Which, what's the reason? As we know, the Friedrich Rebbe had a talis with stripes. The Rebbevik, the Rebbe's father, had a, had a, a, a talis with, with, without stripes. The Rebbe wore a talis with stripes, but he folded the, the stripes underneath to, to show respect to both these minhagim. The Rebbe's minhag and his father's minhag. So this idea really stretches further, a lot further than just the talis, because, um, because the, the Rebbe's father, in addition to somebody who, who obviously you know, taught him a great deal, um, when he was growing up, you know, he grew up around the Mesidas Nefesh of Reb Levi and Reb Um, but, uh, but also the truth is we see in, in the style of the Rebbe's Sichas Mamarim, there was a style of, 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 of combining things from, 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 different, from different areas. For example, if it happened to be the Yemi of, 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 of uh, the, the, the yard site of a certain person and, and, and there was, the, let's say, the name Levi Yitzchak, he would connect the name Levi and the name Yitzchak and co connect it to the parsha, connect it to, to, to halachic things, connect it to, to, um, to, uh, to Kabbalistic things, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's actually a known story about the Rebbe on these lines that I, I think it was in Berlin. I'm not sure where it was, but they, they asked him to come for bring. There was a group of people. They, they were not chassid. And the shamish of the shul, the gabi, the shamish, somebody was a, was 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 a, was a chassid. So they so they knew that he that he that, that he knew that this is before the rebbe was. He was told that Amash was before he was rebbe. And they asked um, they asked the rebbe to come to come for bring with them. So he went around the table, and he said so he asked, started by asking the first person. I think it was right asking him his name. He told him what his name was. So the rebbe gave a whole. Expounded on his name, I'll be Hasidis, I'll pick up, I'll be a I'll be a Halacha, you know, I'll be Taylor on all the levels. Then he went to the next person and he asked that person, What's your name? Oh, so he told him his name. So he did the same thing with that person's name. But then he went and connected both, both of those names, how they're both connected. Then he went to the third person, same thing, he expounded on his name, but then he expounded on, it, on how his name is connected with the second person and the first person. Uh, I, I think if I bring and started something seven, eight at, in the evening, it, would, it, it went on till, till, till past five in the morning. It was <laughs> so, um, and actually they, 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 they told the, the shaman, she said, did you, did you tell him, did you tell him who the, that uh, all our names are, you know, uh, in advance? He said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm so, I, I knew who's coming, who's not coming. 
So, so this style, this this style was something that also that that's uh, that, that's something that you can see in the uh, Hasidism in his in his, uh, his halachic works, fully this combining of of uh, of um, uh, of Kabbalah and Hasidis and and, uh, and halacha and um, so so this uh, this uh, this was a time when 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 that that, that the Rebbe would put the coffee would say okay, so I'm I'm actually want to bring first. A piece of a of a sicha. I'm not going to bring the whole sicha. Just a, just a, a part of it that I feel really is important because one of the big questions when we come to a day like this is what is is okay. It's something. It's a great story. It's a beautiful story. It's an inspiring story. Does this happen in Soviet Russia? What's what's the what's the connection with me here today? That's, that's really and that's really the question that we have to ask ourselves when you have on you with the padre is. In other words, what's what, what's what what are we talking about for for me right here right now? So, just to bring something from a sicha rebbe that I think really really uh, uh, brings on that point of, of what why why this is something important right now. That the rebbe says that the that the idea of of levi first of all comes from. Uh, what is that? Pami love ishi that that now my my uh, my husband will become attached to me, which this is of course we know that on a higher level the the the, the husband of the Jewish people is the Abishter, right? And furthermore, we see later that this was the name that that Levi was given, right? The son of Yaakov. But we see later that this was in, was indeed was the Aveda was that was the work of the tribe of Levi. Right was to Hashem Nachalasam. The Abishter is their portion, right? They were not. They did not get. Therefore, the Levites will not get a portion amongst. The, in other words, when they uh, when they uh, when they split the, the land, the Nachla, the inheritance, they did not inherit the land. See that? <laughs> well, it actually it's, it's it makes sense because that is actually connecting it to our sake too. So, um, and uh, right, the Abishter is their portion. Um. But like the Rambam writes, that he says not just the, not just the, the Levian, but every single person, right? Was that uh, that that uh, what is it? The Ruach Nidiva, What's it called? That the, it, it, his, his heart was filled with understanding and and right. uh, and emotion and Islavus, right? To that that wants to become that he gets motivated to to separate himself from the world, not being in other words a slave to the world. And being instead a slave to the Abishter, that he becomes sanctified like the holy, like the holy of holies. This is from Rambam. Meaning, the Rabbi explains that every single yid has the ability to be like the Levim, to, to take on this quality of Levi. And furthermore, not just Levi in general, but like the Rambam says, the holy of holies. He's alluding to the. Not just the, the tribe of Levi in general, but every year has the ability to reach the level of Cain Godel. See, I say Cain Godel and Yanka Lawaks. Amazing. Yeah. So it's something, huh? <laughs> that was what do they call it? A, a, a stage call. He was he mean the Cain Godel and he walks in. Um meaning, meaning that what the Rambam is saying that not only does every single yid have the ability to be the level of, of, of the tribe of Levi, but but every year has the ability mamish to reach Kedesh Gadoshim to reach the level of the Cain Godel, which which like we know the Cain Godel was 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 totally and, and and utterly and completely devoted to the service of the Abishter. So that's in general. In particular, that continues the the Levim, they encompassed two different things. What were these two things? One of them was the highest of Aveda. And the second thing is bringing it down. Bringing it down, Lamata, bringing it down to everybody. Me meaning that the, the lady goes up, right? And he brings, it doesn't just go up and, and that's it. But there's a lots of a show, right? There's, a, there's a, a going and a return. He comes and he brings down the light that he's achieved in his Aveda, he has to bring down. So this, like the, like the, uh, like the, um, in other words, this, this he knows from the false from this parsha that says that it says um, instruct the children of Yaakov, teach the the, the, the so. So it's not just that they have to do their aveda and be holy in and of themselves, but they have to they have to bring it down. They have to bring this every single year. Okay. 
So, so the Rebbe continues that that uh, that uh, that the Levi that Unzer Levi, so to speak, that the Levi in question, the the, 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 the Rebbe's father, was also was was a Levi in this respect completely. As we know that that he was the Rav of Nevertovsk, he actually had um, he had a smicha from Chaim Brisker, from uh, the Rav in Lodge, who was another great guy. It was. And not only that, you can see from his from his works, even though even though not that many of them uh, remain, but from the ones that do, um, they, they, what, what we have is is a, is a fraction of, of, of the vast majority of work that he actually wrote, which was mostly destroyed by the Nazis when they came to uh, after Rebbe Khan vacated from there and went to um, uh, and eventually to, to to France to the United States. Most and, and the the documents were left. Um, were, were left for safekeeping was was in their apartment was was I don't know if at that point it was in their apartment still but at, at the time when she was going back and forth they were kept safe in, her, in, in, in the apartment in the uh, in uh, Nyevitovsk or Yekaterinoslav like it was called then so most of it was uh, was but but we can see this was a person of immense immense uh, 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 alumnus of immense immense uh, immense. of immense immensity. <laughs> It's a person of immense immensity. Yet, yet, well, I mean, especially we know that, that once once the Friedrich Rebbe left, uh, was already a few years before that, was how it left the area, the, 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 the Rebbe's father was essentially the was essentially the person who was who was running the, the these things of 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 uh, of, of uh, going to the government and uh, petitioning for uh, to that, that uh, for, for kosher matzah for all kinds of different things that uh, for, for different things to be allowed, which that's a that's already like you know what I'm saying. It's not that these are these are these are menial sort of things. It's, it's like in other words, they're uh, it's just traveling to Moscow and dealing with these people, and they have to bribe these people, and they have to. It's a whole. Furthermore, even the Yidden of that time, like we know, this was already this was already during the times of communism. During communism, a lot of people don't realize because later they think they think we think we, we tend to think of, of of communism and the Jew as. Um, as, as 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 enemies to each other, which I mean, obviously in retrospect this is true, right? But um, but the truth is, a lot of the revolutionaries were actually hidden. Not only that, some of the highest up in the revolutionaries were hidden. Like uh, there's there's a story with uh, with uh, with um, with with uh, Trotsky, label with the uh, what was his name Leon Leon Trotsky, one of the big uh, revolutionaries who was late, later taken out. Trotsky. By Trotsky, Trotsky. Leon Tr- uh, Trotsky was 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 lab- label Brunstein was his was his uh, yeah so so uh, so the story that um, that his mother his mother came to visit him in the in the communist camp and uh, and and it was his father's yard site and she said and she said label she didn't call him Leon Trotsky she called him label 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 Make have to say Kaddish for your father. It's his yard site today. So, so he said. So he answered her, "Mama, Daiganisht." When when the goy with the rice game, my husband don't mean you. Don't worry. When the when the when when the when the goy leaves, he's talking about Lenin. When Lenin leaves the room, we have a minion. In other words, everybody else in the room besides your Lenin was Jewish. <laughs> you know, um, and 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 the truth is, they were they were the, the Jews had a big. Uh, uh, first of all. Not, not, not that communism, even at its advent, was exactly a, a, was a, Ju- a Judaism friendly idea. That for sure not. But, but of course, what it became under Stalin was, to the umpteenth degree, a whole, uh, a whole different thing. Ad um, that um, that uh, we'll talk about a little bit later about uh, about a certain story was 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 called the uh, the, the nineteen it was 1953. It was called the Doctor's Plot. That ultimately, basically, Stalin was planning on on doing another another uh, Hitler Yemachshamay move. And, and 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 it just so happened he died. The, the, well, I shouldn't say he died. I should say the Rebbe killed him. <laughs> it just so happens the Rebbe killed him. So I was, Stalin. I was Stalin, yeah. But he was actually planning on on uh, on wiping out uh, everybody. So he, he, and by the time he planned, he already killed more than Hitler. That that was ready before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, no question. But he but he but he was gonna finish. He was he was gonna use this whole thing as a as as a. You know, as 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 a as, as a as a thing to 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 uprise the people to 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 basically annihilate all all, all the Jews, and then uh, 
and then he died, and then uh, and then Khrushchev, uh, what's it called? He let they let whoever hadn't been killed already, um, they, they they let off, and they not only that, Khrushchev used it as a no. Khrushchev used this thing. It wasn't it wasn't no. It was Khrushchev. It was him, and at that time it was it was, it was him, Beria, and they had they had a three people, which of course then 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 Khrushchev also got rid of the other two and did the same thing. But, Right. right, yeah, originally, and then and then Khrushchev did the same thing to to Beria and the other guy. They, he, he he took them out also. Did the same thing. Anyways, so back to the, to 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 to, what, to the Rebbe Sicha is what is the Rebbe saying that 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 essentially this this power of a levy, both 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 a levy that's mentioned, believe that the levy from the Shevet levy, as well as particularly being that we're Hasidim of a levy itself. This is an ability that we all have. Um, and, and, and it's actually interesting, there's a, there's a letter in the Igris Kedish um, from the Rebbe, where the Rebbe say, he speaks about, he's, he's encouraging somebody to increase in his teaching of Hasidim. Thank you. In other words, the person was asking, was, was, was asking to, 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 to get involved in, 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 in other areas, not uh, Dafke areas of, of, uh, of the Lumaza, but other areas of Kedusha. And, and the Rebbe answered, make first of all, make sure that this, you're not doing this, is not replacing your your your, your teaching of Hasidis. Not only that, make sure Adi Rabbi you have to add, because this was the idea of the Baal Shem Tev, was was being was being was striving in his Aveda to the highest of high, but then bringing it down to, 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 to every to every single Jew was 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 the uh, um, and, and and like the Rebbe says in the there, he says he says he says that that Shazek uh, uh, Adam. This is the whole purpose of man. Meaning of, of uh, this, the whole purpose of a Jew is 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 is, is to be mechaber these things, and through this you bring atmos umos here lemata. That's that's the Rebbe's words in the Gishkedish. So al derech also. In other words, that's the kasher to us here today. I I, I we don't have uh, it's it's not the same physical situation in the Soviet Union um, as as can be uh, uh, um, uh, seen by the fact that we actually have um, water and popcorn on the table. I can tell you this was not the same situation that Ablevi got to go through. Uh, if, if, trust me, if Ablevi would have a, would have had water and popcorn at some point, it would have been like uh, like luxury. So fine, we're not in that same situation, but we are in the same situation. That look around us. You have a person like like Ablevi Yitzchak, got a person like him. What does he need to talk to simple people at all? But we see that he was constantly involved with people, not just simple people. There's stories, for example, of 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 uh, of 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 of, of, uh, of using the KGB agent who was Jewish to be the tenth by a chasna that he's going to report about. Well, <laughs> in other words, things like this. this uh, and not only that, the people having the chasna they barely knew, they didn't they didn't know much, they didn't know much anything. They 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 were cut off from from Yiddishkeit. But 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 they knew, and a lot of it's from from Rabbi Yitzchak's encouragement that 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 uh, that, uh, that uh, from birth to death. It has to be, it's in a Jewish way, Reidin, that there has to be a bris, there has to be a, a proper chasna, there has to be a proper burial, etc., etc. So Blavi spent all of his time influencing and not only inf both influencing as well as helping any way possible to carry out. So this is something that's, that's very shy for us here now. Look, look, look around us. There's, there's Jews in the street, the Jews who barely know they're, they're, they're Jewish, and the fact is ones who don't even know they're Jewish. Our job is, is, is to be is to be the Rebbe Yitzchak. Yeah, Taka, we have to try to be Hasidim, learn Hasidis, uh, try to improve our Aveda, try to try to improve our davening, or or what I refer to as my davening, <laughs> try to improve it a little bit day at a time, right? At the same time, that's to, to just to work on yourself, to be a big guy in yourself. Again, beautiful things to strive towards, but. We're, what's 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 doing with that Jew next to you? And that means on all levels, because that's what Rebbe eats stuff. It means on all levels. It means also, for example, it doesn't just mean if somebody uh, if somebody has uh, somebody walks in and 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 he has tattoos and a ponytail. Oh, this is a good person to talk to. He, he's uh, uh, he, he 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 could use uh, help about his, his his Judaism. Sometimes the chassid sitting right next to you, the chassid sitting right next to you, wearing a wearing a kapata, wearing a hat. Also needs encouragement. Also needs uh, uh, that that little bit of a push. So that's the uh, the the the, the kasher of, um, of, of of the day of today. The what? Yeah, the 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 tattoo the tattoo theory. Yeah. So we should. 
uh, this is by, by, you know, the human of the not just a time to, to talk about something. Let's talk about it. That's all oh, inspiring. The, 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 the point of it is, is, is to obviously for sure to get inspired, but that, that inspiration should lead to us doing a cheshvan nefesh, where we're thinking about, uh, especially a day like today, it means that, means that, 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 that the Rebbe Yitzchak is, his ashpa is, is, is particularly strong right now. It's always, but, but today even more than usual. And, and, and how do we use this and make do a cheshvan nefesh and use that, that special energy to, to incorporate that in our own lives, to, to think of, a, of one little more way to, 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 to look out for, for that Jew next to us, even if it's uh, mitzvah Hashem, no, 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 nobody should ever be uh, the kind of mysterious nefesh that he had to go through. But even so, mysterious nefesh doesn't just mean, uh, you know, the, the, the KGB is only a dante red. Mysterious nefesh means maybe uh, I have to give up a little bit of my own comfort. And go go a little bit out of my box, a little bit out of my comfort zone, to to be, because because there's a Jew that needs a little bit um, uh, whatever whatever it is a good word an encouragement, uh, uh, you know, and that's a, a, a Jew of any level. Chaim Chaim Chaim. Chaim. The the monkey, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 Ay ay did it, am ay ay did ay 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 did am bam. Hey did it, am bam bam did am bam. Ay 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 am. Ah hey ay 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 am. Hey masai, cause I'm ready to say I'm good, so I'm Hey, hey, I did a lamb, 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 I did a I <laughs> Hey, I am. I am. Hey, leave the shay of what's all day. I did a lamb, a mamma, 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 a mamma,
Is he living there in Florida? No, his uh, college family lives there. Anyway, Mazato. Did you try to have to do that? Yeah, yeah. This Sunday is Friday. What's your name? Where? Shimmy. Chaim Nisan Alevi. Chaim Nisan. Chaim Nisan Alevi. Oh, he's sorry. Dachav Gam. אתה יודע מה זה? אתה מכיר את קובי סלוריץ? קובי סלוריץ. בכל מקרה הוא גר כאן בפיצפורג. אשתו, אחותה שלה, היא אשתו של חיים. Yes, we don't we don't have um uh, on zoom there's no plaques <laughs> um this one i want to uh mention this this uh this for bringing is an honor obviously of uh of uh levy itzcock they have his father of course the bali lula um, also, it's uh, an honor of the um, the, the chasna of Chaim Avrik, um, an honor of also of uh, uh, sponsored also an honor of um, of Rabbi Rosenfeld, the Rebbe Shliach, and the Mori the Asa of Pittsburgh, of the Kol Kedusha Chabad, um, and also um, uh, in in, uh, in memory of. Um, Rivka, Chaya Musya, Bas, um, Mordechai Eliezer. And also sponsored, especially, for Rafua Shalema, Kreva, for Maravitz um, Yitzchak, Ben Simo Chasya. To have Rafua Shalema and to continue with, with increased Kaychis, even more than before. In uh, in his uh, his capacity as 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 as, as uh, our mashpia, both in the uh, sifta and for the kahila at large. So I want to share actually an interesting story. It's not it's it's on it's a uh, part of the story is in Rebbe Tzimchana's uh, di- uh, 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 memoirs, which uh, uh, we were we were discuss- I was discussing with uh, with Rabbi uh, Yossi before. Uh, one of the, the, the beautiful things with Rabbi Tzinchana's uh, uh, memoirs, it's not, you know, there was like, uh, there's, there's, it's not one of these Fabrengans that there's five different Hasidim that can speak of it that were there at the time. Um, Rabbi Tzinchana was, was the only one who was there and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> there was, there was, she was the one and only witness. So this is the only eyewitness account of really, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a deep way, of, um, of, of everything that Rabbi Yitzchak had to go through. And how, and not only that, but but just the, the insight that you glean from how he handled. She's very detailed about about the situations, and and when she paints the picture, it's it really gives you a a, a feel for you know. Additionally, obviously, also it um, it gives you a very a very big appreciation for Rabbi Tzimchana's Messias uh, Nefesh for his self sacrifice, which is uh, in itself something unbelievable that uh, you know that, that a person could uh, could undergo this. You know, and uh, and live to tell the tale, and not only that, but to walk to walk out feeling to walk out with the thought that, that at the end of the day it was worth it. <laughs> you know, 
the story is, it, it really, I think, epitomizes what we were talking about before, this idea of, of Rabbi Yitzhak, how he, he encompassed the stretching from the highest of high to the lowest of low. On the one hand, there were there were Rabbonim and there were uh, 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 all kinds of Mekobolim and Gain and people who would come and ask his his, his input on on, on uh, stuff that's that's uh, high level stuff that's higher than uh, than I would know how to how, how to explain what they were talking about. At the same time, you see where he was involved on a on a on a base level on that on on you know a ground zero that, that were and and at much self sacrifice. So the story is actually a story about a poet who was a communist poet. He was actually a, somebody who, who who spent who spent a lot uh, 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 um, spent a, 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 a great deal of his prime raising funds to fund the communist uh, uh, the communist army during World War II and different to fund the communist party and things like that. So. Uh, much of this is, is actually known from uh, from from his from his wife who recounts when he was arrested and different. Anyways, in 1949, <coughs> so this is you're talking five years after already your Blavik passed away. Talking about it's about ten years after the the big purge. Um, the, sorry, it's about twenty years after the original Stalin's first purge with with but with with, with Yudbe Stamos when the Friedrich Rebbe when the Friedrich Rebbe was was arrested. Um, Interestingly, I believe it was about 10 years later, was, was in, in like 1930, in the late 1930s. Um, and then here you have the, in the late 1940s. So seven agents, they show up at the apartment of this poet. His name is Peretz Markish. He's a renowned Yiddish poet and playwright. And uh, they arrested him. He was, uh, Peretz was 54 at this time. He'd been already since he was a youth, was already fighting for the communist movement for decades. Anyways, this was not a surprise to him. This arrest did not come as it wasn't, didn't throw him off guard at all. He was quite expecting it. For already a month before that, he's being followed by the secret police. It's the, in, in, in uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you realize it, but by, by now, after you're hearing the different stories about you know the, the people who are watching your know, the people who are watching who are watching of Ramayar and all these. They're, they're, they're secret police because they're 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 in this situation. They don't love Dafka. Do they have to stay so secret? <laughs> Some sometimes they're all too obvious who they were. Um. So, anyways, then they had agents posted watching him. He, he knew it was coming. So the one of the agents tells his wife, "Our minister just wants to um, have a talk with your husband." That was the last time she saw him. <laughs> Must have been a very long talk. So it wasn't just Markish himself. It was a bunch of, at this point, hey, more more. It was a bunch of, of, uh, of, of, of Jewish um, poets and uh, 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 whatever they were, screenwriters, intellectuals, artists, uh, you know, the, 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 left, uh, the left, -wing, uh, left wing Jews were, all, were actually all part of the, the, part of the communist movement. They were all, all these people were affiliated with the JAC, which was the Jewish um, Anti-Fascist uh, Committee. Jewish Antifa. <laughs> um, and basically they were all rounded up and arrested. This was part of Stalin's, uh, he had a multi-tiered plan. Um, a big part of that, uh, it, it, it shouldn't be uh, particularly surprising to us. This was also the way we know that... This is also the way we know that, 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 that Hitler started. The first thing you do is round up, round up the leaders, the people of any importance, the people who might be able to advise people or people might look up to, you get rid of them first. Um, and ultimately what happened was, this was a movement, in, um, it was a communist movement made up of Jews. And they were Yiddish, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were uh, when I was in Ukraine even, it was already rare by this point, but there was in a couple of places that we went, which actually they thought there's no Jews left. Like Belitzerk was one place. We went there, they, they, they said, maybe if you're lucky, there's 200 Jews left in the place. Turns out there's, there's, there's 4,000 that they knew of there. In other words, that, that they're, this, they had a kahila there sort of, not, not, not no, no religion, because they didn't have, they didn't have a rub, they didn't have anybody who knew Allah, but they have a 4,000 member uh, kahila over there. And, and it centered around the Yiddish theater. And they still had a building, was, which I think, I think was once a show, 
and and now it was they used it as a, as it was a theater. It was and they, and they would put on still to, to that day they would put on Yiddish theater uh, uh, productions. So what they were doing actually their main thing was they would they would petition with different they would go to different um, using their influence with influential Jews abroad. Remember back then it wasn't only in Russia and Ukraine that Yiddish uh, before World War II. Right, you had, you had there was a thriving Yiddish theater in, in the United States. Also, it was a big thing. You had you had you know Moshe uh, Aisha um, uh, and others who were big stars of, of Yiddish uh, Yiddish theater. Um, so they would use their 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 influence to 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 gain entry to meet with influential people in different countries, and to uh, to convince them of the of the. Um, of the value of the of the of the communist uh, uh, fight against uh, against the Nazis, etc., etc., etc. Now, of course, by this time, uh, after the war, Stalin didn't have much need for uh, he didn't need them anymore. <laughs> so uh, during the war, he left them alone because they were they were going out and raising funds, you know. And anyways, this this campaign. This was the, the, the it, was, it was actually called Night of the Poets. It was the, the it was the it was the night when they um, when they were when a whole bunch of them were they weren't all poets, but that was sort of the common denominator sort of thing. When they're all rounded up, um, they were they weren't even exiled. They were summarily executed, and that was it. Which just like uh, really the plight of many Hasidim, like you know, Chani uh, Merazov, uh, Yankel Gold, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There was a there was a reason. It wasn't a good one. What's that? Oh, the person. <laughs> I'm, 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 when I'm talking, I'm still, my, my listening gets slower. Yes. <laughs> I, I missed that. No, 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 no. Usually I would have caught that. But, uh, I, I was I was thinking of the next words, so I, like I totally I totally yeah. <laughs> went right over. So anyways, that was the beginning of it was that night. And the culmination was the, in 1953, the, the doctor's plot, which what happened was basically they, they, um, um, they arrested a bunch of doctors, uh, like the, the, you know, members of the medical association. What they say, they said that they were planning to, to poison the, all the top members of the government. That was their, their claim. Now, it was just a, a, as a complete coincidence, almost every one of these doctors that they rounded up happened to be Jewish. Funny thing, right? Weird. I mean, I, 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 I actually, there's a, there probably was a, a, a certain bias of, of, of uh, <laughs> a certain amount of Jews that were doctors. It was, probably wasn't a, a small amount. But the clown, in other words, that, that's who was arrested. It was, all, it was Jewish doctors. But then along with those doctors, they then they arrested co-conspirators, right? Because you can't just arrest the, the conspirators, co-conspirators. Oh, well, you know, these were these were other Jewish Jewish leaders. Um, and and um, anyway, it, 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 that was in um, in in, in the, right in the beginning of 1953. I think it was March of 90, it was was it or whatever that uh, when was it that the the Rebbe's uh, It was put put him in the you know. So and it was so, and it was in, in that year it fell, I think, in March. I think Stalin passed away in March of 53. So uh, so that so so the, it, it it got cut short. It was revealed later, it was revealed later that it was part of a whole of a whole plan that he had. What was his plan? His plan was the doctors and then the other people and the people. Then he's gonna release all the names of these people, right? And the, and, and and everybody's gonna see. Uh, uh, who, who tried to kill the, the, the Soviet Union and all its leaders? Is this this one Friedman? This one uh, uh, Grusman? This one what? Uh, this one uh, 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 Kogan? This all Jewish names? Jewish names? Jewish names? And then he was, they were going to release it a big blast out in it, and I think they already started in the newspapers, making a turning it into a Jewish thing. And uh, and 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 then the next thing they're going to they're going to raise all the all the they're going to show that the Jewish the Jews are trying to destroy the Soviet Union. And they're going to move them into an autonomous uh, a, a, a Jewish republic within Russia, which they were going to move into a ghetto, basically. And then they were going to 
basically by by accident unleash the, the 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 locals as we know the how the how the how the locals in in, in ukraine and the other such places are are, are quite we fond are quite fond of jews we love ukraine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. the the right this is the you see houses with the ukraine uh, the ukraine flag, flag yeah yeah Right, but it's funny, you know, you know, not only that though. What you know, it's the whole what what's the whole the whole slogan, right? The whole slogan people say, right? Is it, it, it uh, uh, Slava Ukraine, Hiroem uh, Slava, right? It means like uh, uh, how do you say Slava is like it's like uh, glory, glory, glory to Ukraine, to the heroes' glory. It's actually it's actually a, a Cossack uh, 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 it's a Cossack tagline that the Cossacks in I think World War One the Cossack soldiers. All these people, they're they they're 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 direct uh, what's it called? They're direct Hasidim of, of Khmelnytsky, all these people. <laughs> and in in, fa in fact in, in in World War II, the 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 the, the Nazi system, the Nazi, the people in the Nazi system were very upset at the Ukrainians. No, not only did too good of a job because the the the, the remember they're yekes, right? Nazis are yuckers. They, they they want to document. For example, why 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 are so many not documented? All the the, the Nazi killings were, are, are 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 documented. This is why it's funny if you go to Ukraine and you start counting. And it says on on, on the Matzevis that are you know that are by the, each place. Um, here is 33,000. 33, can you imagine in one place thirty three thousand? Here twenty two thousand, twelve thousand. You start doing the math and you quickly realize the six million is not the um, six million is maybe on the Rishima, on the on the written thing. The, the, the number has to go much more up than that. The Ukrainians didn't even uh, they didn't even uh, what do you call it? They didn't, they didn't they didn't write nothing down. <laughs> they were they were very they were very messy. Um, anyways, that was the plan. Was then you then you unleash these people? We don't know what happened. You know, <laughs> it wasn't our fault. We couldn't we couldn't hold them back. They overpowered they overpowered the three Russian guards. And um, anyway, that was the the, the plan was ultimately uh, a complete. Uh, Killing of the, of the Eden. but anyways, the so so this Markish was right in the beginning of this. And it was already in 1949. He was already arrested, um, and um, people started hearing about it. It was actually remember Jews from around the world. If you remember, what was what was his job before World War II? Why was he going around? Because he was a he was, he was a person with, with with influence. That's why he was going around to, to to open doors to get into influential people through the. Uh, particularly the influential Jews he knew. So there was there was there was a lot of different the uh, the um, the um, the uh, there's people from here who went to the ambassadors and um, to the Russian ambassador to the American ambassador and to all kinds of people, and they tried to um, they tried to uh, get him out. So by this time, Rabbi Tzimchana got the support. By this time, this was years later. I believe Yitzchak passed away in uh, in in forty. Five, forty-five. I think forty-five. Huh? forty-four. Tavshin Dal was uh, yeah, so it would have been fine. Yeah, forty-four would have been forty-four still. So, um, so this was after by this by this time, Rebbe Khan After that, Rebbe Tzimchano ended up going to. To Paris, and then from there, the Rebbe met her. In Paris. She actually had to go through a few different places until she got to, to Paris, and then the Rebbe, the Rebbe went to, 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 to the flew to Paris to, to go pick her up to bring her here. Um, so anyway, so Rebbe Zinchana got got the she got these reports in the in the in the newspapers, um, and um, and uh, she actually she actually speaks about this. This brought to mind this uh, something that. That she remembered about this Peretz and Markish. So it was, and it was a few months later. She started writing her memoirs, and she opens. I'm not a writer, nor the daughter of a writer. My desire is to record, record some memories of the, of the final years of my husband, of blessed memory. I am unsure whether I will succeed. Will I be able to put all my recollections in writing? Let's not forget there. It's not just a matter of there. There, there, there's, there's, there's some quite painful. And memories, uh, you know, of her, of her husband's last years. Essentially, the memories of how the, uh, the of how the communists slowly starved him and uh, made him sick to death. 
And secondly, will I have the peace of mind needed for such a task? Which, as, as anyone who reads these, these Zechrenes can will know that they're actually, she quite beautifully succeeded at the task. And they're, they're I mean, it's, it's, it's it, I'll, I'll tell you like this. It's uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to read at times. It's, <laughs> it's very, very, uh, you know, heavy circumstances. A very, you're reading it. It's very, it's, it's and, and you can feel her pain and, and her blame. It's looks pain. Um, you know, it's 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 sort of one of those times when 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 you look at the Abishter and go and go and you're like seriously, you know, like we're talking about Levi Yitzchak grabs in Chana, like what? Hard to understand. Um. Anyway, so she tells a story of this uh, Markish. Um. So she puts. Um. Today I read in the newspaper that the writer Peretz Markish has been exiled to some unknown location in the Soviet Union. That was the, this is, this, this is how she opens. And then she says, the news also reminded me of an episode in the life of my husband of blessed memory. And I'm going to skip straight to that point because that's really the part that I wanted to bring up. Um... Yeah, I'll just briefly give a little, a little, a little bit about uh, just to give you who Markish was at this point by, by the time that, that he that he came there. Uh, originally, even within the Soviet movement, he was he was he was a hero, and he was not only that he was encouraged to write in Yiddish because that was the whole the whole point of his um, of his influence. That's how he that was that was how he had such an influence outside. Obviously, once the war was done, then not not only was there no encouragement to write in Yiddish, but Adraba, there was a point where that Stalin realized. That 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 at, at first, Stalin's original theory was it was as long as you it was was that Jews are like other nations, right? If you wipe out their 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 if you take out their leaders, and you take out you you, you make them not allowed to do their traditions, and and etc uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So they'll, they'll they'll speak even if they'll you know even though like the people in Kazakhstan they'll speak the, the, the Kazakh language and the people in, in Ukraine will speak Ukrainian. You're not, uh, but but uh, but 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 you killed their. Later on, he realized that that he said he, he realized he has to wipe out the, the, the Yiddish language. So it was actually illegal, and, and and we actually know during the time of of the of, of the Rebbe's Chasna, right? So which 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 the Rebbe and Rebbe Tzim Levitzel and Rebbe Chasna were not at the Chasna. The Chasna was in uh, Warsaw. So they were not at the Khasna, but they made, there's a whole story how they made, a, at that point, the government had taken half their apartment and they split it, right? They made a wall and put them and gave half of it to, to other people. But they had a neighbor on the other side that heard about the Khasna and he opened, he did, opened the wall and he, and, and he moved out of his own apartment and told them they could have his, apart, his apartment to celebrate as long as, as long as they need. So they, they, when there was a whole, then there's a whole thing. There was, there was, there was a very emotional moments that I brought down about, uh, the, uh, the Rebbe's father with his father and his, and, and, or was it his, his with his shver, I think, you know, his shver and his brother-in-law. Um, I have to look. The dancing was a whole, a whole beautiful thing that, that, uh, that, uh, that happened over there. Um, by, by, so, so we know by that time that actually they, they, uh, they petitioned with somebody and they got a special, um, a special, uh, what do you call it? Like a rishus, a special, uh, ex- yeah, like an exclusion, a permit that, 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 that the telegraph offices are allowed to receive. They made it for a 10 day period. They were allowed to receive a, a, a telegrams in, in Lashon HaKadosh and Yiddish. In other words, they were obviously transliterated, but they were allowed to, in other words, usually you're not, you're not, they were, they were by this point already, they were, you weren't allowed to use you weren't, weren't, Imam Ishur weren't allowed to send a telegram in, in, in Yiddish or Hebrew. So they, and, and we know this because they, had, they, they got a special exclusion that for 10 days they were allowed to receive and send because they were getting from all over the world. They were getting uh, telegrams for congratulating on, on the chasna of, of, uh, of the Rebbe and Rebbe Haim Mushka. So in other words, Yiddish was already not so popular. And they, they basically became... Uh, they, they, they told him, "Listen, now you're just a writer for the communists. What's it called? You write, you write." And he, he knew Russian. He knew he knew to write in Russian. He wrote in Russian. Of course, it was you know what I mean. It wasn't his old. If you if you read the 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 the, the, po- the poems and the stories of the different writers like Shalom Aleichem and this and that, if you read them in the Yiddish, they're so flowery and beautiful. But not only that, it's not just that they're the language they use is nice, 
but they bring in all kinds of little sprinklings of like uh, of, of language from Gemara and from Shulchan Aruch and Jewish ideas. And they're very, it's very beautiful things. Um, so he, he took away his whole time. Now, by the way, he got a very nice apartment at this point. Right? You be a good boy. I gave him a nice apartment. You're part of the the, the respected uh, the respected po poets of, 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 of Russia, and and we know that your that your that your work is good and creative because Stalin says your work is good and creative, and therefore all of Russia will will accept that your work is good and creative. They better, right? It, it's funny because in his last in his last period, in other words, it was already clear what's what's going what's going to happen. He actually reverted and he started writing again and putting out things. In other words, what, what does he have to lose? He knew he was already. Uh, he knew he was a goner. There, there were. It was. It was just a matter of. It was just a matter of when of what. Uh, um, so, anyways. So this was uh, uh, um, so this was so, so this was during this period already. So in nineteen, what, what, the, what the Rebbe, the, the, this thing that happened that the Rebbe is going to start to speak about happened during this period, before when he was like uh, when he was a respected Russian, he was being a good boy and writing what they told him to write. Um, so this was in nineteen thirty-seven. This is already uh, the, so nineteen thirty-seven. This is the high point, the high point of his, uh, of his fame, as well as the high point of his obedience, because they go hand in hand in Russia. You know, your fame goes with your obedience. So Markish got news that his father had passed away in uh, Nyabovitrovsk. Interestingly, it would seem that Markish's father was a Heide Rebbe who worked in the underground Chadarim under Lev Yitzchak. Um, so this is where Rabbi Tzinchana picks up her narrative. His father was a Torah, was Torah observant and was a regular at our home. Prior to his passing, he left instructions that his burial be conducted in accordance with all of Rabbi Schneerson's directives. Hearing the news, Markish and his sister, they quietly made their way to, to Dnevo Petrovsk. Ah. Um, so it should be the, the, the parents of Markish came with what with his sister, and she was also involved in the Communist Party. And they and he had and he had another sister. Who lived in Dyovitrovsk, and, and this was the caretaker of the of the of the father as when he was older. So Rabbi Tzinchana says he sent the he sent with the sisters. He himself he couldn't go. It was if if, if he would be seen at Rabbi Schneerson's house, it was it was over for him. And so he went, he, he traveled at night, he, he he had like a hoodie, something they shouldn't they shouldn't even know he came and went from the city. Because remember, he's uh, he's a, a ranking uh, guy in the, by the communists. If they would see you, you, you go see Rabbi, Rabbi Shnirsen, you're done, you're finished. Especially, especially the fact he's Jewish. He wanted my husband to know that although he couldn't meet him personally, the Rav should be aware that regardless of Markish's personal ideology and prominent position, he held Rabbi Shnirsen in the highest esteem and related to him with the greatest personal respect. This was based on his own experience and on his father's frequent letters to him, which made a deep impression on him. This is what Rebbe Tzinchana writes. So he continued to, to communicate everything through his sister. And he asked that everything be kept quiet. Nobody mentioned that he was there or anything like that. All the details of the burial, which were also in a favorable plot, were performed in the finest possible manner relative to the conditions of that time. With the funeral over, the writer and his sister prepared to return to Moscow. Um, he respected his father's wishes during a very, which was at a great danger to himself. Um, and, um, and in other words, even just communicating, let alone visiting or sending out a personal message, writing a letter to, to, to Schneerson was already 
you were already, uh, you could be on the, on, on the blacklist. So before they left, Rabbi Tzimchana says, the family donated large sums for the city's um, hidden uh, underground school, which makes sense when, when you consider that the father was a malamid in the underground schools. So, so he would have had a certain feeling for that. Um, which were obviously conducted at great personal peril to all of those who were there. So anyways, Markish then, he left that night and uh, that was it. He, he was uh, he left quietly. That's, that's, that's the thing that, that, that was Rabbi Tzimchana's um, um, memory of him. This illustrates this idea. Here's this guy, Markish. He doesn't, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a total communist, on the outside, he's even completely against, of course, Markish was, in, in this sense, he was maybe a, li a little different than some of the other ones that he actually retained some of his uh, feelings towards Yiddishkeit. Um, one, one interesting thing I'm gonna bring down also, just that happens to be from, from something that Markish himself said, um, which, is, which is a very interesting and beautiful thing, which, 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 which sort of gives you the hint that he was, that, that he grew up around around the place of Um There was um, uh, let me see. I think it's right here. Oh, so there was a post-war memorial for the for the Jews of Poland who were killed by the Nazis. Um, so a Yiddish writer he noted to Markish that um, that uh, that this gathering. It was a gathering of many of, it was in other words, it was people who were from, who were communists, who were, who were uh, Hasidim, or uh, all kinds of people, all kinds of Jews from many different walks, so to speak. And, uh, and uh, so he commented, commented that this is a, a very beautiful, that everybody's coming together for the, for the, uh, for those who were killed by the Hashem, by the Nazis, a beautiful thing of, his, and, he, and the way he said it was the friendship of the Jewish peoples. Different, the different Jewish peoples, communist Jewish peoples. Markish responded, there are no two Jewish people. This gives, you, this gives you a little bit of a taste of who he is. The Jewish nation is one, just as a heart cannot be caught up and divided. Similarly, one cannot split up the Jewish people. Everywhere we are, we shall remain one entity. That's, that's, a, that's something that Markish himself said. But I think this really displays this. In other words, with the Rebbe Yitzchak, he was, he was dealing, he was he was the greatest of God. Not only that, there was there was the, his, his 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 sticking to Allah, Al Kiddush Hashem, was an unbelievable thing. Are you familiar with the story of the Matzis? Is this was actually not long before he got arrested, where 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 the 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 Matzis had to be made in government plants, right? You couldn't you couldn't make uh, you weren't allowed to make uh, uh, because all plants were government plants. There was no plant that was a non-government plant. So the Matzis are made by the government. The, 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 the government had one problem. The Jews aren't going to eat the matzah. So, anyways, they got different rabbis. And the rabbis, they, I said, you know, and they threatened them and this and that. Anyways, many of the rabbis, they said, well, it's better there should be some kind of matzah than no matzah. And so they started trying to think of where we can be matir, where we can work, where can we be more lenient. The problem was what the, the word on the street was that until Revlevi Yitzchak, because they said people don't trust the other, the, these, these other, these other uh, they know that they can be bent, that if you threaten them, they'll bend. The only one people know is not going to bend is Rebbe is, is Yitzchak. Right? So, so, so anyways, the government, they, they went to Rebbe Yitzchak. They, they wanted to try to bend the oh, unbend. Anyway, he wasn't having none of it. They threatened him. They wanted to call. He said, if, so it turned out that all the, all the communist matzah plants were ran under a proper yeah. shkach, under his supervision, with his instructions, with mashkichim, with, because that was the only way they could, uh, that they were able to, uh, to get it done. So it was so he it was somebody of nature, and yet you had a guy like like Peretz Markish, who was really I mean there was this a person that, that most of the the the, the, the anybody who remember retained any from guy looked at him as, as lost. He was he was he was a communist right? He was one of them, and you see that that connection that he had to to the regular to the to to, to the Jew on the street, no matter where he was holding, and no matter what reminding he he, he needed that the, yeah. that the Jewish people are one, and not only they are one, but the Taira is one, and the Ebishter is one, and they they all three are one. So Chaim, uh, Chaim, we should we should all uh, in that in that vein also be the same. Because the different uh, operating systems. Um, think about so the toiletries don't know English, so that. he's happy about that. <laughs> it's talking to me. It's alive.
Yeah, so, um, yeah, so Chaim, Chaim, Chaver, we should also, we should, you know, again, we're, we're not in the same, in the same situation of, of, of Messias Nefesh Nefesh in that, in that sense, but to do some Messias Nefesh, to give up from our comfort, you know, to, 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 to go, and Mitzvah Hashem, we're planning Chayel again, uh, a Mitzvah tank, and uh, not only Bachim can go, but Balabatim can go also, Adarabba, the Rebbe needs all of us, so any, any time we can spare a moment, um, we should we, we should we should come up with ways that uh, whether it's on Sunday spending a couple hours to Amit Sayyim, whether it's it's increasing in Shir Hasidis and in Shir Nigla, whatever it is, um, we should uh, we should uh, we should try to go a little bit out of our comfort level and have that little bit of Mesir Snaf to do do a little more. in <laughs> I Ay la la ma 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 Ah, 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 ah. 
So we have a few all these you know? No, that's it. That's it. Trust, trust me. If you look, if you look, if you look, if you look at my bank account, it's, it's not, it's not a future. It's already. Uh, what do you call it? it, it uh, is uh, there's right? There's different ways to make a Kenyan, right? So, one one of them is hard cold cash. So Kenyan, I already made the Kenyan. It's the deal. It's a done. The deal is done. Chaim, Chaim, where is where is where are you going? Oh, good. So you give regards to Mendel Marikel. Not the other the little Mendel Marikel. He's, he's also my nephew. Oh. Maish, my brother Maish, he's, uh, he's, he's also, he's also going to be There's another one running around? <laughs> no, 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 there's another three running around. There's another three running around, believe it or not. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, Mendel Markel running around in Crown Heights. There's, oh, wow. Mar there's another Mendel Markel running around here. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. You, right? he, no, no, another one besides me. He's, he's more dangerous than me. He looks innocent. <laughs> Like you know, you know me who am I fooling? Yeah. Him, he looks, you know, it looks innocent. Um, and then there's and then there's then there's one in Las Vegas. Him, he's also he's like me. He's not fooling anybody. Either. He's Mendel Markel. No, there's no mistake in that one. You know, you know, you know him at all. You know uh, Shimon's uh, uh, this uh, David's brother has a uh, as a Mendel. No, he's <laughs> he's 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 he's, he's, he's uh, also a Mendel Markel. Um. Something very interesting. In other words, anything that's connected to us has to be connected to Yemesa Mashiach. Obviously, that's what we're doing, right? Where this is this, this is the this is the this is the end game more. Is it like what's the proper way to toss a like, No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go on. No, I'm not playing marbles. I'm playing. Uh, uh, where's the? We go. Well, good. We open the other one. Fine. Perfect. Time. 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 So there was a there was an instance when there was the um, the uh, what do they call it? Like the what's it called when they come around and uh, they do it here also. They they they, they 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 sent me letters that they would have they would send me they sent me letters telling me they'd arrest me if I didn't tell them if I'm if I tell them if I'm a Native American or not or something like that. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> they told me like, are you are you are you a Jew or an Indian? I said, oh yes. That that is. They said, are you a Jew or an Indian? I said, that is correct. <laughs> how 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 did you how did you know? So anyways, the the there was a census. And the census had certain questions. It was different than a United States sentence, census because it has a different goal, right? A census, I think what a census is. A census is basically a rigged questionnaire that, that, that helps the government make a case for what they're looking to do. So here, what's important <laughs> to them is economics, right? Here it's economics. Because in America, if you want people to, 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 schweig, to, to schweig and do what you want them to do, right? It's, in Russia, they had one way of doing it, or I do with a club, right? In the Russian way, by the way, I think it's cheaper, and more effective. Tell you the truth, but uh, yeah, because 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 like for like for example, in, in, in America, like they they, they like they, they're not even taking a dent out of out of, out of Rabbi Kuhn, you know, <laughs> not even starting to. In, in in Russia, they put a challenge for it at least. Here here, what do you do? Here the same thing. How do you control the people? You make they, they watch a football game. You you make sure their car has leather seats, right? You make sure. If you want them really happy, then the toilet has leather seats. Everything, everything here is this economics, right? It's economy.
my my my, my doctor told me what's it called? He told me like my uh, you know he told me I'm getting too big. I told him it's economies of scale, you know. <laughs> <laughs> economies did of he scale. Really tell you that? No, no, I'm well, he did. No, he he really told me that. I didn't really answer him that. But... <laughs> Get different doctors. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got different doctors. I got different doctors. That's funny. You sat on my lap when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he realized it's the doctors, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sat on my lap. Was a baby. Anyways, so in the census for Russia, one of the questions was, "Do you believe in God?" That, that was. Which it's a funny thing. I'm, I'm I'm trying in my brain to imagine like like a Jew like getting this question, and trying to answer it. Like, well, what do you mean believe? What do you mean God? What do you mean believe? In, do I believe in God? Believe in God? I mean, I believe it, but I don't believe it. I don't believe. In... <laughs> you imagine a Jew trying to answer this question. But anyways, everybody knew. Everybody knew already that the appropriate answer was no. In other words, that was what the Russian government. To... Was looking for, which which is kind of silly because if you already know everybody's gonna answer no whether they really believe in God or not. So what's the what's what's the point of asking it really? You know, he wanted to see if people were right. brave. It's like uh, what's that? I said he wanted to see if people would be brave and say who, who Stalin wants to see, and then what? So you <laughs> so can kill them as a thanks for being brave. Anyways, so a lot of people answered no. <laughs> <laughs> you see why? That's the whole lesson, Mord. You see why? Anyways, anyways. By the way, by the way, at first glance, in other words, what are you what are you accomplishing? What are you accomplishing by putting this down? Right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put it down, and then I'll and then they'll leave me alone, and I'll keep doing my my what my I need to do, right? Uh, why why do I need to right? So, anyways, the that it was that Shabbos. Right after these all got to started coming, whatever it was, the uh, um, Levi got up in the shul. By the way, remember when he announced something in shul, it made it everywhere instantly, both within the Jewish world. This one told that one, that one told that one, and this one. Then the what's it called? Because that he was essentially at this point, Russia was very much closed off. Everything was censored coming from outside. So he was the, the pulse of the Jewish world. It was you wanted to know what's 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 the halacha in, in, in USSR at that point. It was it was Levitz. They weren't they, trust me. Any 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 letters that were coming in from 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 the Schneersons here, they would the uh, you know the stories that the Rebbe would would what's it called? He would he would he would sign he would sign the letters Zayda grand, grandfather because because the the people there was dangerous if they would knew they know they were and and it would be from like some other address it wouldn't be coming from like 770 or whatever it would anyway he got up and 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 and, and he was machris that that you have to answer yes to this question i believe in god and to answer otherwise is is to be a kafir in the Ebishter. anyway needless to say they had a big uh, there was a big explosion. First of all, there was many people who that, who answered yes. There was actually a certain doctor who wasn't even from. Um, I think this is in the in the Rebbe uh, even. A certain doctor who wasn't from, who went and he and he made a special trip and and to, to the to the census office to get his card back because because he answered it falsely and he wants to change his answer. The doctor, but when it said. They had a trial, was it clean? They wanted to shut him down. No, that was a, that, that's a, that's another, uh, yeah, he drank, that's the one he drank the, the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God bless that man. God bless that man. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this, in this case, no, he, this doctor, he went and he got his, his census answer, whatever it was. I don't know if it was, a, if it was like, a, like a card or something. You, he got it back. And change his answer from no, I don't believe in God to yes, I believe in God. Why? Because he was so influenced by 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 the lady itself. Okay, what's what's what, what's the, like like you said? What's the big deal? What 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 are you what are we accomplishing? What's the what? so first of all, if Taka were to say that this is a matter of of, of, of being a kafir and it's and only that it's so then if that's the case, so maybe it's uh, it's from the it's it's uh, you know. No, no. 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. was a bigger pace than I am. So uh, this was a, he was he was saying in Zabsak also. But it's also this is a, this, there's something to be learned from here. In other words, it's very easy. You know, you can you can. There's different ways that you can hide from things, right? It's a known thing in like um, in like uh, um, it's like addictions, right? Addictions. What are addictions? Addictions are basically somebody doesn't want to deal with something, and he, and he goes to an escape from dealing with that thing, right? So you could have, and by the way, like you know, you would think that that you would think that, for example, if somebody doesn't want to deal with grief, right? You would think that they would also oh, they'll take something that makes them uh, 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 that makes them high, makes them happy, right? No, not necessarily. Sometimes they take something downer also. In other words, they just don't want to be in this place. In other words, you can use and and, and the thing is, by the way, some people, yeah, some some people. Wait, more. I, I, I just want to make sure I don't get addicted to sobriety. I don't want to be addicted to sobriety. So, yeah, okay. That's the show. That's the first. No, because some people, some people, they don't want to deal with the match, but so they get addicted to sobriety. And, uh, it's a horrible thing. So you shouldn't. <laughs> can you just listen for them? Oh, right, it's a, it's a horrible thing. Horrible. Or as or as uh, as Shalom Shalom he called it. He called remember there's like this regular tea and horrible tea. <laughs> horrible tea. Chorny. He called it no, he called it regular tea and, oh. and herbal tea. He called it oh. horrible, horrible, horrible. Horrible. horrible tea. He called it horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Once, <laughs> one, once, <laughs> once, 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 uh, 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 Bina asked, she was, she was by, by, uh, Izzy and, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, it was by Izzy and Bina. And he asked, and he asked, uh, what's it called? And he asked, um, um, uh, he asked for tea, so she asked him. Listen, this was remember, this was in the nineties, right when you know, you know, uh, the celestial seasonings were, was was uh, was at its peak, right? Yeah. Um, and and she just so she asked like you would ask any gas, re- regular or, or or herbal, herbal. He looked at her and said, "Why I would want horrible tea? <laughs> regular tea? I want horrible tea. You, you, why you don't ask me about the chalent? I want regular chalent or horrible chalent." I want the regular chant, I want the regular tea, regular rolls, regular bullet kiss. <laughs> so uh, how do we get how do we get to that? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 so you could have you could have all kinds of things, by the way. So these people think that it's like people go to all the drugs for you should know that there's people who get addicted to uh, to religion. Because of addiction. Oh. Uh, so, so, by the way, it's not a good thing. In other words, uh, uh, Shay's Taub actually uh, deals a lot with addiction. Yeah. Somebody asked him, uh, um, uh, "What's?" Um, uh, I think it was Mayor K. I think it was like a, it was a, like a talk of Mayor K or something. Yeah. But anyways, he asked him, well, how, "What's the difference between fa- between fantasy fantasy and faith?" Because ba- based on how he described. Something like he says, wait, wait a second, what's the difference between fantasy and faith? So Shay's answered a beautiful thing. He says, it's very simple. He said, they're, they're, he said, they're almost identical. They can be mistaken very, very easily. He said, fantasy is something that helps me escape a problem I'm dealing with. with. Faith is the thing that helps me face the problem I'm dealing with. The very slight, um, so uh, in, in, in other words, you know, you could, you could, religion could be, in other words, let's say, let's say, oh, halacha and neglavas or this and that and whatever. And why? Because I have, because, and you can have somebody who's, for example, and you, you see this sometimes in like recovering addicts, right? Where they get into, not, by the way, I'm not saying that keeping halacha, like, you know, in, in, a, in a very solid way is a bad thing, cloud, right? Covered for OCD. But I'm saying, but right, but, but, when, but not only that. But 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 but, but it, it's you know kia mitzvah zayis asher ameishi mitzavicha. It's not just kia mitzvah zayis because this commandment, because this commandment that I command you. The whole point is who's commanding you this this commandment. The whole point is not just is not just ah 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 wait wait 
Oh no, I have to start over again. Then you sit nice and massively in the Layla. Meditation, time of meditation, connecting to my deeper self. Not Matir, Asurim, etc. Right? Where's the Amish there in it? The, uh, the, the number one point, the number one, like, the, 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 the point of contact is that there's an Abish there. There's a, recognizing there's an Abish there. For, exa for example, you can take somebody, right, and he doesn't know he's doing anything for the Abish there. He doesn't, just tell him here to, uh, what's it called? Um, um, uh, it, it, this, this, the truth is this is not a 100% thing because, because sometimes it's, it's, it's okay for, for, for a Jew to just start with the mitzvah. And yeah, because, yeah, because, sure. because, because, but, the, but, that's, but that, like Hasidus explains, because really on a deep on, on a deeper level and the shaman knows and he and he's, he's recognizing the abishter but in other words there was no abishter in it it's the same thing just so you could you, you could use mamish yiddishkeit as a, as in other words are you using yiddishkeit to, to 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 run away from something by the way some people use yiddishkeit to run away from the abishter <laughs> it's the whole point is is wait a second it's an abishter and what does the abishter need me to do right that was the whole thing for example with mental foot right when he was you know the story of mental foot it was very. It was uh, there was there was a uh, there was a uh, um, um, there was uh, like another like a philosopher or uh, something that he was that was with him in, in the gulag, and he asked him like like and he asked him why are you so happy. He goes, there's people around here, uh, and, and he said they just they get so depressed that you leave one day to work, they don't go out to work that day, and they just you come back to dead. <laughs> they they, they probably like lost all hope to live. Over time, they get depressed, depressed, depressed. One day, you just... You see, in the meantime, these are people who, who started out here younger than you, healthier than you. Remember, uh, you know, these are guys who are like, these are like Kazakh brutes, you know what I'm saying? These are career, lifelong criminals. Life, you know, they can withstand anything, right? No, these guys got more and more depressed. Than... So Mendel answered him, he said, here's, here's my theory on it. He said, what's, what's a Kazakh? What does he live for? Lives for you know to 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 to, to eat, right? Essen, trinking, hooligan, right? It's like David uh, Bichlin, uh, right? He said um, he said what what means goof, right? David Bichlin said what what means goof? Gimel vov pay. Goof will fressen. <laughs> the body wants to eat. Goof will fire. If you want to drink, goof will puffin. What's puffin? Okay. Sleep. Uh -oh. Body wants to sleep. <laughs> right? So the answer him Goof vest pagan. You're going to die. Pagan die? Yeah, you're gonna die someday. But you know, like it's like in the Gemara, it says that um, it says that uh, that the that that that, that the, the um, undertakers are known to be like a bedafka, a, a grubby sort of people, a, a very coarse sort of people. Yeah, you gotta be cold. undertakers. Be but the very so so, which is surprising, because you would think the people who see death every day would know that you're eating, you're drinking, your stuff, your your car, your big house, your it's 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 it's. It's, it's 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 look here's this rich they're seeing rich people dead every day well, what's what's it gonna amount to so this is the answer you tell them right goof that's pagan you're gonna you're gonna die pagan and die no look, it's like a pagan a pagan is a corpse I'm the word, the word pagan. Pagan. It's, a, it's a it's a it's a cross between hebrew and yiddish actually like you know pegarim in in, in tanakh is like pegarim they is, is they it mean it means corpses yeah oh there you go oh beautiful there you go. That's right. In Texas, everything is in Texas, everything is big. Rock is everything. Um, so, yeah, so so it's it's also a mix between between Tagir and uh, and 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 Yiddish. It's a, like a it's a Yiddishized. It's like how do you call it? Like in, more pagan. You know, a person doesn't believe in anything. Pagan. No, that's I don't know. Maybe 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 maybe. See see Rabbi Yehuda all of a sudden would have liked this. You know, he was very into that. I'm bored. Anyways, you're gonna die. Body wants anyways, doesn't care. That's that's a Kazakh. 
So what? So he says, what happens? Kazak, a Kazak. Yeah. These were most of the guys in the jail there. They were hardened criminals. A lot of the criminals. They were the Kazak. They were the Kazak. I won't say it too loud. It's what they call it. It's what they today are known as Ukrainian nationals. <laughs> you know, the guys with the yellow and blue flags. It's, 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 it's them. Some type of Russia. No, no, no. But what I'm saying, but the, but the actual Ukrainian national peoples, they're, 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 and not only that, who's, who's, who's on their bill is, 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 is Bogdan Khmelnytsky, Alain. Anyways, it doesn't make any difference right now. But these were the Kazakhs. These, these are bad. Jews. All Ukrainians are bad. Can we say that? No, not all. <laughs> not all. Not all. There was no, not all. There was this one guy, Andre. I know it was really nice. But other, other than Andre, Andre, and, and I suspect, I suspect his, his grandmother was Jewish. Also. <laughs> it was a guy. It was a guy in uh, in uh, in Denvertrovsk. In, in the what's it called? In the show. He would come. How would he, how would he make his money? He would go to all the Americans and come and he would recite poetry for them. But you know, you know, you know, there's like you know, how like this Gummel and Hummel, Hurevich and Gurevich, right? Is the why is their cousins, right? Hurwitz and, and Gurevich are cousins. Why? Because it's Gurevich and Hurevich. It's a different pronunciation. The Ukrainians pronounce it like right? It's a letter like that. Oh really? Right. It looks like um, looks like a backwards race. It's G, but they pronounce it He. So like my mother-in-law, for example. She also says says like uh, hello instead of galodni. She's hello because they they okay. Hummel is gummel, same thing. Yeah, so so he would come and say, he would come and give us this, this little guy, little beautiful Jew. Come and say, good morning, good morning, good morning to you, good morning, good morning. I'm glad to see you, my father. English teacher, small town Russia, and then he and then he would follow it up with he would have for each season a different thing. No, Either yeah, he would have like a wonderful sun of 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 summer, or we'd have white snow of Russia, or beautiful green spring. <laughs> like, and then he would say, and then he would say, "May I have one grivna, please?" One what? Grivna, one grivna, please. One Ukrainian dollar, uh -oh. which which even though now that's worth about. I don't know, 14 cents or something, <laughs> was then worth about 25, 30 cents, depending on the Hrivna. on the week. Hrivna? Yeah. Hrivna. 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 So anyways, <laughs> so anyways, what's a Kazakh? That's what a Kazakh lives for. So they bring him here. They bring him here. They they take his, his eating, right? Oh, someone's here. Someone's uh, in the door. Someone is, is fresh. In other words, he wants to fresh. He can't express him. Uh, what's it called? A little puffin, a can is puffin. You don't let you eat. They're not letting him drink. You're not letting you know, no, no, not, not sleep, nothing. So he has, he, has, he has nothing left to live for. So a person who has nothing left to live for, he's going to stop living. Just what? It takes his body a few months to, 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 to get the memo, right? His body gets the memo a, few, a little bit down, down the road. And then, and then slowly but surely, he's, in other words, he has nothing to live for. His body is like going, wait a second. Like I'm, uh, there's a lack of there's a lack of motivational signals coming this direction. <laughs> it, go, it goes. It's who needs this? <laughs> right, what, <laughs> right. Who needs this? So Mendel said. He said on the other hand, he said me. I, I'm in the same position I was before. Hey, look at him. What do you mean you're in the same position you were before? He said, what did I do before? So if you know Mendel, what did you do before? You go, you go to shul, daven, and kasidis. Then you would go to his to his workshop, right? What did you do in his workshop? He would forge passports. He'd make this is how he would, he would get Jews out of Poland. He was involved in the whole. It was a whole thing. The rabbi was involved, and in, there's all kinds of people involved in this thing of getting getting Jews out of um, out out of out, out of uh, Nazi invaded lands and things like that, or whatever it was. And they would and they would so he would do it by forging Polish passports. So. He said, "What? So what did I do before?" He said, "Before I was up uh, in the morning. I wake up in the morning. I go to the mikveh, the kasidis. I go to the shul. I would then, then I would uh, what's it called? A little, a little bit more. Then I would go to my workshop, make the passport. Then I would come back. Then I would uh, what's it called? Uh, mincha, mairiv, what's it, you know, etc., etc." The guy said, "What do you mean? So you don't have any of that here?" He goes, "No, no I have the same thing. You understand? I wasn't I wasn't going to shul because I because I needed to go to shul." I wasn't. I wasn't learning Hasidis because because uh, because uh, because because that was my uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
my uh, like um, I mean, you should get, you should get excited to learn Hasidus. But in other words, it wasn't like um, you know. By the way, this, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, you, you, you could you could you could even have, so, uh, I had a long a very long time with somebody about this. We we're trying to figure out like could you could 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 you even like could you even run away from the Abister through Hasidus? So it's a tough one because. I don't, I don't know if you can run away from the Abister, but at the same time, you know how like it's people who learn things and they learn them because, in other words, learning this as an intellectual. By the way, you you can you can totally run away from the Abister to And I've seen people do it. What happens? They get caught in the in the in the intellectual way. And depending, there's either there's there's like different mamar from the rabbi, different even sikhs from the rabbi. Like some of these, some of the Rashi sikhs, you have to keep track track of like. You know, nineteen different things going saying, in different directions before they come saying, together. Saying, in other words, I'm learning. I'm learning Hasidis because it is the Abishter. That's what's in Hasidis. The Abishter is in there. In other words, because do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God. That's why. That's the learning Hasidis. And yeah, of course, Hasidis. But yeah, it's it, it should be exciting. It's some 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 what's it called? Uh, it is you take you, you take whatever it is. The uh, is Maybe to different people, different different styles of rabbi speak uh, speak more, speak a different way. Uh, you should be excited. It's it's exciting stuff. But why does it excite you? It's, it's exciting because you're challenging your mind with one of those. You know you know they have these brain puzzles where they give you only half the information, and then you like it's which is funny because me I, I, they give me half the information and i'm happy to stay with half the information so i don't know what people are looking for. these people they give me the puzzle and looking for the rest of the information i don't know what do i need the rest of the information for you see i have half the information and i'm quite happy not having the other half the information in fact i suspect i'm happy because i don't have the other half the information right <laughs> that's probably why i'm happy i don't have the other half the information but in other words there's people who learn in this way it's at, to the point where, you, where you're forgetting what, what are you doing you're learning. Your this is Ma'irich Ba'echa. This is Avayu Hu Elikim. So this is the thing. This why did it, like, the lady say gets up and to announce in the show people show. Mam Shem Misiras. We were talking Misiras Nefesh, not just for himself. He's demanding of of the all the people, everybody. I don't care. You're from. You're fra. You're, you you how much you do, how much you know. It doesn't make a difference. I believe in God. The first thing. Is I'm putting down on paper and letting the Russian government know, right? That ich echo So this really is very, very much our um, Aveda today. Um, people like to focus on different aspects of things that I've said. Like for example, it was like 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 when the, the, the Rebbe spoke about like Shara Yichud, right? Being the being the Mafteach of Hasidis and why it's very important of it. Why? Not because it's a thing into itself, but because it helps you understand the good detail and it helps you understand some of because because the whole Aved of today, what, what does it mean Aved Samaikin? As opposed to before was Aved Salev was 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 that was Aveda from for, for, for years and years and years and years, for hundreds of years. And then, and then, and then the Rebbe announced that Aveda, the Aveda now is Aveda Samaychin. Doesn't mean into, in, in, intellectualizing. In other words, I, 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 I should stop being being excited about the about Hasidis. I should stop being excited about the Eremitzvus. I should not become an intellectual. Like, oh, I'm putting on this film because uh, because you see, I'm putting this on it uh, something in the syllabus and uh, no other Rebbe. The fact that, that that you that you know that should make you more excited. So, in other words, what's Aveda Samaychin? Aveda Samaychin means that it's Yediyah Savaya Echad Echad. And that means knowing in a specific way. Do, you, do, do we know what's the, what, what in the Shem Yud Ki Do we know the difference between Yud Ki Vavke and Yud Ki Vavke Tata? Do we know the difference? Do we know what, what, what the Yud is in, in, in the Yud Ki Vavke versus the Yud in the Yud Ki Tata? Do we know what the Spitz is? Do we know? Do we know what, what, what the next what, what the next thing up is? Do we know? Do we know the methods for for connecting to to, to the to, to the yud in in, in the shame law and the shame tata? These are important things to know. This is But why? 
it's because the whole Aveda is is and this is and this is a thing that I've said also, it's not only for Yidden anymore. In other words, you know, you know, people when talk about Mashiach, right? They they they, they like to talk about um, uh, um, uh, what's Mashiach. Um, well, what's what the what's what's the song? Uh, there will be no more war, no more lions. All right, which is all fine, very good. But those are those aren't actually what Mashiach is. They're symptoms. These are symptoms of Mashiach. When Mashiach comes, there won't be space. True, there won't be war. There won't be hunger. There won't be sickness. These things are all true. But those are all symptomatic. These are not. These are not the meaning of what Mashiach is. What is the meaning of Mashiach? Very simple. The 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 Baal Shem Tev in what's I believe the only actual confirmed the Tzimam is the only confirmed Tzaviyad that's hundred percent known to be by him from his own hand is you know the it's it's the uh, in the uh, introduction to Kesar Shem Tev right right we all know the, we all know the famous thing the Baal Shem Tev goes up to 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 to, to Mashiach. And he asks him, they must say Kasimar, when will the master come? And we all know, of course, the son, the Shayyaf Putzum and Asakh Putzum. That's just one phrase from the whole letter, though. The in, 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 in this letter, it's a whole lot long letter where the, the, the Bashem talks about Arabish Shama. He goes up, and our Hiashilani took him up to the column that goes from the lower Ganade to the upper Ganade until he went to the highest Heichel, the Heichel of Mashiach. And he says also, he, and, and there it explains what does it mean that she futsman is It doesn't stop that the letter doesn't stop that he asked him, he must say Kosim and he answered him Futsman Sakhutza. He answered him with Futsman Sakhutza, and then he explains what that means. He says, when every simpleton will be able to be miyachid yachudim like you. That's the explanation of Sakhutza. To which the Baal writes in this letter to Geshe Kitavir, his brother-in-law. I became very, very afraid. <laughs> it's going to be a long time, right? Every simple thing is going to be, be able to be miyach and yichudim like, like, like the Baal Shem Tev. But he says, but then he realized that there, 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 there are three names and three methods. And if he can teach people the three names and the three methods, it'll, it, it won't be so long. It'll be very quick. But then the only problem is he tells Gersh Gittiver that I was forbidden to teach these three names, and these three methods during my lifetime, and therefore I cannot share it. Even though I want to share it with you, I can't even share it with you. So, okay, where does that leave us? I got a question for you. There was this guy. His last name was Rebbe. His last name was Rebbe, and his first name was the altar. Remember him? Remember the altar Rebbe? <laughs> Who visited the altar Rebbe in jail? Right. The Baal Tev. Was that during his, the Baal Shem Tev's lifetime? Ah. Baal Shem Tev was not allowed to reveal the three names, the three methods during his lifetime. If you take a look in the Kuti Teda, you'll find that many, many Mamarim are three, three levels, are the, are the three levels, Yudki Vavki Tatal, Yudki Vavki Law Atmos, and the methods for reaching every, every, every one of those things. In other words, what does it mean the Shiyah Futsum and Not only that, the Shiyah wasn't telling him just um, here's like a trick like to, to bring in. That is Mashiach. That is what Mashiach is. It's Umalo Ha'aretz Deya Savaya Kamayma Yom Mechasim. The whole world will be covered with the knowledge of Yud Kei Vav Kei. That means that, that not just Jews, every guy, every human being in India, in China, everywhere. Everywhere I tell you, they will know everywhere that Havayu who is the king, that the Abishter's name is Yudke Vavke, and they'll know that that that, that there's higher there's Atmos. In other words, every human being will understand Chasidis. So this is so why is it so important? Why is it so important to to believe it's like that Adafke this thing? I believe I believe in God because what's the Aveda? The whole Aveda is, 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 is let's bring Mashiach. And the only way to do that, and, and not only that, that means it's not just keep it to myself. It's when the Russian government guy asks you, you tell him, And like the Rebbe explained in Purim of Tavshin Mem Zayin, right? That, 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 that it used to be people were afraid because he was talking about the Mitzvah right? About uh, pushing that people should 
bring them into the Neach and Yidiya Savaya to, 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 to everybody, every man, woman, and child in all the nations. That, that there was a time that, that, that it's not the news because mommy's is dangerous. You're going to go tell, tell, tell a guy that, uh, what's it called? That, 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 it's dangerous. And the Rebbe said that this is now, the world is ready. And now it's the time to tell them, to tell every man, woman, and child. So that's by the guy. And Allah has come of a comma that, that every single year, it's our job to reach every single year. And yes, we need to continue to do the, to put fill in, to put on, to put up mezuzahs, and 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 but yesterday says, but yesterday is to even even more. In other words, what's the point of a Bach going to to, to Alitera? Why is he going to Alitera? That he should he should he should learn better how to how to put on fill, how to put mezuzahs up by people's doors, and and how to teach people how you really keep. That's the goal. So Chavre Lachaim Lachaim. Right now, let me tell you, it's already the Rebbe already made it out of control. Totally out of control. You know, it's happening. Chaimke! Mendel, Chaim Levracha. Chaim, Chaim Levracha. So it's out of control. The question is only, let me tell you, this, this chaos is a lot of fun. The question is, if you want to be part of the chaos, it's a fun ride. And, 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 and later, once it happened, looking back, you'll, you'll, we'll all have wished you were out. The truth is, we'll all have probably wish you were out even more. But still, at the very least, to whatever degree we can, whatever degree we're capable, here's, here's, a, here's a vote from the Blade that comes, right? What's the vote? Is, what's the, 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 the first, the first, uh, the, the, the first letter of Tata? Base, the last letter. Lamid, Israel, right? Lamid. So Lamid and base is laid. Heart. What's the letters before the, the base and the Lamid? Hmm? Before the base and the and the yeah. The before before the base and the Lamid. Aleph. Kof. Ach. Only means which mean which 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 in, 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 in Shulchan Aruch, you know, Ach means. To the exclusion of, right? What's ach ach alef chaf ach? To the exclusion of, what's what's the what's the letter after the uh, after the base in the lamid? Gimunem gam gam is inclusive of, meaning echad hamarbe echad hamamu. It doesn't make a difference in, in in this particular thing because, by the way, everybody has every single human being. Has, uh, has certain areas where they are better than anybody else in the whole world of it. But you're here. If there wasn't something that you're better at every, but every single other human being in the world at, you wouldn't be here. Like me, you should see me blow my nose. Nobody, no. <laughs> but like, no, but seriously, but everybody, everybody has, and by the way, with one person, one person that might be uh, like a certain like uh, uh, a certain charisma. With another person, it's a, it, it's a, it's a, an intellect that's capable of copying very deep things. Uh, every single human being. But at the same time, the bottom line is like right now, for example, let's say a mitzvah tank has to come together. And the question is, how good am I at putting duct tape on? It doesn't make a difference. The bottom line is whether 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 you have more. And uh, or you have less, right? So what do you do? Through Tata, well, you put you 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 focus your your, your abilities to to the And uh, in other words, you 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 could think. And by the way, there's there's even there's even within certain things that that a person can have a, a, like a big plus and a minus in it, right? For example, let's say like someone right brain. What? Right brain it means that this half of his head was cut off. <laughs> yes, I'm right brain. I, I'm 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 very very right brain. So I don't read anything like like like. I can uh, tell you definitely the left part is missing. That's for sure. Yeah. No. No. Chaim kid. What do we just don't 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 tell them? But no, nobody knows yet that the right piece is also missing. <laughs> but no. But I, like in other words, so so uh, when when you're learning a piece of shulchan aruch, uh, it's it's almost like. The way people usually learn it, it, it's like totally backwards to me. So, uh, so I had to teach myself to learn a, a much different way. 
because otherwise I, I wouldn't be able to remember to even understand it because they're putting here, you take a line, and then here's the mechaber, you put this line, you take a square, you take a line, and you take a square, and you take a line, 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 and you take a square, right? It doesn't work. These are things. So for, for, for many years, I even decided, I, like, I can't learn, I, I, I can't learn the, what's it called? Like, I don't, I can't learn Nigla. And it's funny because at the same time, Kassidis was, was, was spo- naturally just spoke to me. I, it, it falls in place. Okay, but, uh, so, but so what? So it means I should, you shouldn't learn Nigla? No, it means whether you, have, uh, okay, so you're not good at it. Who, who, again, we, we, it, so it depends. You're learning for the Avis, you're learning for you. The Avis just says learn Alokha. First of all, from a practical level, you, you got to learn Alokha. You know? Because I don't care if you're right brain, you still have to you still have to wash your left hand during Nagubas, right? Yeah, you have to halach is, is a practical thing. Uh, it's an actual uh, mental health, like a mental health disease that people want to recognize the left side of their body. Like I'm saying it, it, it works fine. Their body works fine. What do you mean by recognize? Yeah, the, like it, 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 yeah, if you like ask them like where's your left hand, they like well, they won't raise it. And if you ask them like whose hand is that, they just they'll just be like tears. They, 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 oh, really? I, I heard this from Doctor King. Mm. So it's 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 a, it's 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 almost like the people that, that don't recognize their head sleep. <laughs> Anyways, <No. laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so but Hamar be Hamamit. And by the way, so you go so you go to yeshiva, right? When you go to yeshiva, you, you you're gonna find this thing a lot, right? There's gonna be there's gonna be the thing. There's going to be the thing that speaks to you, right? There's going to be the thing that, that maybe doesn't so much speak to you, right? Like for me, right? For me, like Shemir Zman, it didn't speak to me. <laughs> for fully, sometimes it didn't speak to me either. But right, Shemir Shemir Zmanin. Okay, that's not, well, who cares? Who cares? I'm a. Oh. Um, Shmina, right? uh, in other words, but but uh, who, what's the difference? So I come late. So what's the call? No, but I'm sorry, but you're in a time that I've been month. This is this is what this is this is the not just oh this is the system. It's not a matter of a communist thing. It's a it's a matter of of it's good for you, and it's good for you. Why? Because I'm not a mommy. It doesn't make a difference. You're good at it. You're not good at it. Because because what happens if you, if you come into what you're good at and what speaks to you naturally to what you understand easily? Okay, then I'm sorry. Then you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for Abister anymore. Then you're 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 uh, you're an addict. That's what you are. What's wrong with that? <laughs> In other words, you're 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 you're, 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 you're taking the path of least resisting. There's a story. There's a guy. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, Stauber. So I, I remember him when I was a kid. He was Stauber. Uh, Stauber. Stauber. I think David. David Stauber. It's on the gem uh, things. I, I I remember when I was a kid in, in LA. He was he, he was his son was my his son was Svi Ratner Stauber. Was was in my class. So he's talking about he that he was going into the Rebbe. He didn't even care. He, what's it called? He was just going in because his wife was going to the Rebbe and his father in law. So he was just um, going to facilitate whatever, and they wouldn't let him in. He said, "No, you have to write a, you, know, you have to write something for you have to, you know, you know, you know you're Fine, he didn't really have any questions, but finally, well, he had he had this one question for many years ago that still really bothered him. So he put, "Why does the Abister insist on all these little things? If he's such a great Abister, he couldn't just like overlook some of it. Think about it. He's an Abister. He's." An Abister. he's he wants to go, uh, he's such a big avist here. Not only that, he's so high, he encompasses even, even Tevara. That by him, there's ultimately when you go, when you go, when you go up past a certain place, Kiyakiv Keso. Yakiv and Asim are the same up there. And all of a sudden, this avist wants me to do what oh, it has to be there, you know, and I this here and that, but on this day, not till the thing, and only by your so what's the what 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 kind of like the Abish is so big? Why why does he care about well, why can't he just let the let, let the let the little stuff slide? So, anyways, when he came to the rabbi, whatever the rabbi asked him things, I mean, then he turned to him and he, and he told him, I don't, I don't understand your question. 
And so he started, he was, he was going to start explaining it in case that he thought maybe the Rebbe's English wasn't so good. And, and the Rebbe stopped him. He goes, no, no, no. Uh, he, I don't understand your question. In other words, your, your, your wording is, is on, is, 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 doesn't make sense to me. Why does the Abish demand that we, what's it called? It's not for him, it's for you. All these mitzvahs, all these things, it's not so, it's not because he needs you to. It's because he loves you and he's doing you a favor. He's telling you, here's the path to find me. And you're going to say, oh, oh, why are you giving me this map? What, what, what are you giving me this map for? Oh, you're so, you're so like, uh, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Like a uh, person who's, um, yeah, like a control freak. Give me a map. It's not a control freak. He's not doing it for him. He knows where he is. And he knows where you are. You don't know where you are and you don't know where he is. He's giving you a map through these mitzvahs. You'll find you and you'll find him. And he says this, this answer from the Rebbe, like, it completely like changed his whole, he didn't used to care anything about what's it called. All of a sudden he looked the whole thing in a whole different way. Like, it wasn't like a, you know, it wasn't like a thing. Oh, the Abishur. But he said the way he grew up was like, you have to this and you have to that. And you're, and you're, and you're not allowed to this and you're, in other words, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't grow up the way, you know, he didn't grow up in a proper uh, Chabad home, right? It's not the only mean you have to. No, we get to. But we, we have to be soldiers of the Rebbe. No, we get to be soldiers of the Rebbe. Okay, but here's the thing. So the same thing. There's a, not something that's like, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. No, that's the this is this is the Rebbe telling you how to get close to him, how to be a good soldier. He's telling you how to get how, how to how to how to how to do this the best way. You know, you know what it's like. It's like in the, in the survival manual. There's a there's a there's a thing it tells you right. You're freezing. You're what's it called? You're on the cold. You're gonna die if you, if you what's it called? Here, take this thing and take what's it called. Take do like this, and a spark will come out, and it'll write. But it's some more you gotta put right. So you can imagine the guy sitting there with a knife going, oh, the guy that wrote that survival kit hates me. Oh, that guy hates me. Look what he's, no, he's, he's saving your life. He's showing you what to do. Yeah, that's a little hard. Quite right, like, you know, oh, that guy hates me. You know what? Forget this survival manual. Do you have any other survival manuals that don't have that thing in it? No, you need a fire. The same thing, by the way. Tim oh, oh, is telling you it's, it's a survival kit. It's telling you how to light the fire. Not only in yourself, though. Taim Chetimimim is telling you how to be a serial killer. It's telling you how to light everybody else on fire. How to light everybody on fire and to touch them in their most private place. In the soul. In the soul. How many people can manage touch somebody's soul? By the way, it's like a Jedi trick, too. You touch somebody without touching him. No, think about it. It's a Jedi trick. It's like you're talking about through Hasidis, right? Through Hasidis, through what you learn in the time of the you're, 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 you're given the tool to mamish light, not just in an external way also, because, by the way, sometimes it starts with an external excitement, right? Sometimes, you know, you've been around the Chabad houses a lot, right? With the college students who may become, we're, they, we're also around, but I think we're usually, most of us are generally around more people who already have some background or something, right? And uh, I've been actually, when I was a kid, I was also, I spent a lot of time, I spent, used to go for Yom Tevin, uh, back when, uh, um, back when like whatever, Shlomo Silverman was like, uh, was, was this big, and Zalman Silverman was like running around trying to rip the mechitza down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you weren't born there, I don't think, back in those days. Um, it was a, they were good days. But anyways, but you had people who came there, so who sometimes, right, so you ever have students who come there and they're like, whatever, a friend told them to come, it's not, they weren't even really that interested in what he caught, right? And then they see you like dancing on some Seder or something, right? And, and by the way, at first, you know, they don't even understand this for God, this what's it called? It could be a very exterior thing, so that's fine too. Lighting people on fire on the outside is also fine. I, I know somebody this summer who had a bunch of them up here. And 
He was in he was in college. He went to Forest Town for a week. Check it out. Like check the drive to Paris. Yeah. And he said when he got there, he got there on Friday, and the first thing that hit him was on Friday night seeing everybody dancing around the Dima. Wow, I never saw people so passionate for something in my life. But here's the thing, here's the interesting thing. He, at yeah. that point, he didn't even really understand the thing that they were passionate about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's lit on fire on the outside. But ultimately, that leads to, hey, I want to see more. Ah, oh, now you can manage light him inside, light his soul on fire. Yeah. Light his very essence on fire, right? Yeah. yeah. No, not Yoda. You keep off, Kate. It's a little bit different. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Trevor, this is the thing that, um, in other words, a Seder and Tabor of Tamimim, that includes, that includes uh, from the top to the bottom. Maybe some people, by the way, some people maybe, uh, I, I, I stay away from such people, but maybe Nicholas speaks to more than Hasidus. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose, you know. There's all kinds of crazy people in the world. <laughs> 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 or 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 vice versa. Like, yes, yeah, someone like me, Hasidus speaks to me naturally more than Nigla. I did all, but tells you maybe maybe that's your Aveda. Maybe that your Aveda is a Nigla. For sure, they were able to put me down here to wake up in the mornings because otherwise you would never make it that hard, right? But it's all of it. It's 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 it's, it's the Shmiras has manim. It's the the whole the Tamechut Mimim. There's a Seid. Everything has a Seid, and it's very important not to. Not to not to drop, in other words, not to look at any part of that seder as 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 meaningless. It's a map. In other words, the same thing. Oh, come on! I want the Rebbe. The Rebbe what's it called? The Rebbe loves every Jew. He 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 needs he dafkin needs me too. No, he doesn't need. Well, he does need you too, but he needs you too because he, because you need to. He needs it for you, not for him. So Chaim, Chaver, as we're over the next, I guess, what week in the, I don't know when the difference mind will start. In Baltimore, that's so also like uh, beginning of Elul. Okay, yeah. So it's also the, uh, the where's the where's the other people going? He's uh, where? Where's that? Oh, it's like uh, is he yeshiva there? I didn't know that. Huh. Who's who? Who runs it? Seniors. Yeah, you were going where? Arizona. Arizona. You should go to Westchester. There's a yeshiva there. <laughs> wants to be in Arizona. There's a yeshiva in Arizona? It's so wow. hot over there, though. No, however, anyways, wherever you go, remember who you are. You are Tamimim. A Tamim is, a Tamim is essentially is the Rebbe's shock troops in training. Um, if you look, you know who's Tamimim. Tamimim was 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 Khan Yamaraza was a Tamim. It was, you know, these are Tamimim. You know what a Tamim is? A Tamim is a guy. A Tamim is a guy. A Tamim is a guy who will who will who will uh he's fully he's fully he's fully willing to die for the Rebbe, no problem. Here in America, that sounds very harsh. Like, oh, you shouldn't tell that the little children. But but that's the truth. What do you think? Uh, what, what's a chassid? A chassid is, is it's by the way, it's it's not just that it's not that it's not that it's not that 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 chassidis and the rabbi and Taylor is more important than life. It's that it is life. That is life. The rabbi shlichus is life. And by the way, it doesn't make it that people go. Oh, nowadays shlichus opportunities are very no positions on their markets are very limited. Shlichus opportunities are infinite. And by the way, you can have you can have your cake and eat it too. Right, I'm a shliach, right? I'm a shliach under the head, shliach of your own. I'm what they call a, a self fundraising shliach. Why? Because there's no budget for my shlichus. Fine, so, by the way, and what do you think? You think, you think, Kunin, there was a, they, they told him, here, go to LA, they told him, go to LA, here's your budget. Why do people think you have to get like paid by America somehow, or you have to, what, where did that idea come up? You know, the, the, the early Lagba Imre parades, you know how they were. It was people just, it, it, what's it called? They would find the babysitter, and then their wife would go, and they would, with 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 all all, all the, the ladies would go and start decorating, making signs, and the men would be hacking and building. A, a, what do you call? It? There wasn't so many bachim around like there is now. Like like they, like Slash didn't have so many cockroaches back then, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> the, the Fabrengen didn't come come together like that. <laughs> you know, it didn't happen like that. It was it was regular, just on National Crown Heights. Just what do you call? It? And by the way, in this one ran a fish store, and this one I was an accountant, and this one did this, and this one worked. 
the same thing. In other words, you know, it's a funny thing when they ask you on a thing, occupation. I'm mine, I put, I put, Shliach of the Rebbe. Shliach of the Rebbe, Chabad of Western Pennsylvania. I'm, that's my occupation. I ask me, pay stub. Luckily, on all accounts, it's like I just answered none. <laughs> pay stubs, none. And a, uh, the pay stubs. What's the act works with pay stubs? What, uh, some do nowadays, but there's no pay stubs. In other words, it doesn't make a difference what how you how you fundraise. I don't care, I don't care what you're doing to fundraise. One guy can do ashgach of the fundraise, one guy can be an accountant, a lawyer, run a fish store. That's not your occupation. A, a Lubavitcher is synonymous with a shliach. A Lubavitcher's job, his occupation is find one more Jew. And after Purim of Namzayin, that became find one more human being. And tell him, here are the commandments that God Almighty needs you to do. That's your job. That's your occupation. And that's, by the way, if not for that, why, why, why am I wasting money? It's foolish to go to Olite. Stupid. Stupid. Think about it. If you want to think about shlichus in this in this sense of like this this uh, oh the shlichus opportunities are limited. Why, wait, wait a second. So why did tuition go up? They should make it cheaper. It's not worth that much anymore because your life a, a life is shlichus. There is no other life. A lebavitcher chassid. In other words, you have to choose who you are. Are you a lebavitcher chassid or are you friends of lebavitch? You know, there's friends of lebavitch. Fine, by the way, friends of lebavitch is very wonderful. But a Lubavitch Chassid is synonymous with the, with the Amashtiach of the Rebbe. That's what I do. That's my occupation. That's my life. That's my job. And by the way, that's even how I make my money. Because even if you're a lawyer or you're this year or that, that's, that's not where your money is coming from. It's coming from the Abish It's coming so that you can do your shlichus. So Mechaim Tever, when you go, you're going now, these, these years, I can tell you, that the, the my years in Yeshiva, which were spent in sometimes very good and sometimes very interesting ways, but I can tell you, they're the, 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 they are the like the, the basis. And this is we're talking a lot of years ago. It was uh, I can't count that much. <laughs> uh, five carry the W. Um, it, it was um, 30, 30, 20 more, 27, 27 years ago. And by the way, it was only it was only three years of my life. For, uh, well, Masifta was Masifta. There was Schaidim, but 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 Zal was 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 three years. It's very it's it's a very small little. It's it's gone very fast, but it's but it's the basis that can that you can build on for the rest of your life. L'chaim Chavre, remember who you are. Remember you're the Rebbe's Um and, and the truth is, you know, the people who regret it later are especially. Listen, I'll give I'll give you the best piece of advice. If, if, if you're not going to go in 100%, just at least don't eat the kasha. So everybody knows, once we eat the shrats of kasha, you'll never get away from it, and then you'll just have regrets. So then at least, so at least don't eat the kasha. Then. But however, remember who you are. The the Rebbe's Tamim means, it's the Rebbe's Hasidim, means the Rebbe's Shluchim. They're not, they're not a separate thing. And, 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 and you're going to Yeshiva now, and, and these years, it's, it's your training. It's the training for going to the army. It's the going as a shliach. Not only as a shliach, as a full-time shliach. Because again, I don't care if you're a lawyer. You're still a full-time shliach. And uh, whatever amount of that time has to go to fundraising, has to go to fundraising. Right? That's the shliach do fundraising also. Um, and no, Chaim Chaim should have a Hatzlach Adiki year in the Mubadatayre, in the Hasidis, Bedarki Hasidis. And no, make uh, make your Bobby and Zaydi and the Rebbe proud. <laughs> well, my battery's running low, and I want to say some stuff to Samson that's not good for Zoom. So, <laughs> so thanks everybody for joining. Does he know that guy? Your son?